Hello. In this video, I'm going to show how to use Git with Riscos via Linux, Nettle, and Omni client. The reason why I prefer this approach is quite simple. All modern Riscos boards use an SD card to store the system's files. Coding is an activity that can require constant read and write operations, often on a multitude of files. SD cards are not the best media to do such an activity, which can wear them out faster than they would otherwise. So I prefer to store my source code on a Linux server, which uses better disks and has a RAID functionality, to reduce problems as much as possible. RISCOS already comes with OmniClient installed and configured to use LAN Manager, which is a protocol we can use to exchange files between RISCOS and Linux. We need to install Nethel on RISCOS. To do this, we can use Spacman Package Manager. When Nettle is installed, we can create a connection to our Linux server via SSH. This will allow us to operate Git on Linux directly from our RISCOS system. In my case, I already created one and I am connected. Finally, on Linux, we need to ensure that both Git and Samba server are installed and configured. I am preparing a detailed blog article on how to configure Linux to allow easy access from RISCOS for both SSH and LAN Manager. However, for this video, we want to focus on Git, so I'll assume they are all installed and configured. To clone a Git repository, which fundamentally means to download a repository of source code, we can have a look on github.com using a regular internet browser. In my example, I'm going to use Aris browser. However, RISCOS has also other browser and some other that should work fine. In this example, I already have got to a code repository on the RISCOS community on GitHub organization. To speed things up a bit. Now, if you're not familiar with github.com, the interface is pretty simple. At the very top, you have a search engine that you can use to search for all type of projects. This is the name of the organization or the name of the developer. And then you have the name of the project. Now, to clone the project on our local system using Nettle, we need the project URI. To do so, we just click on this button code. And here we have the URI. We just need to copy this line. Unfortunately, at this time, I cannot use Iris to copy and paste, which is very unfortunate. However, hopefully in the future that will be possible. Anyway, to be quick, I already done this on the Nettle, bra on the Nettle terminal. So, here it is. And then I'm just going to press Enter. This is cloning the repository from github.com into my Linux system. Now we can have a look. And here it is. OK, so now we want to access it from our RISCOS system to have a build. To do so, we use OmniClient, and I already got on that same directory. So all we have to do here is press Refresh, and here we have our repository cloned on our system. If you want to learn more about github.com, just go on the RISCOS community and then click on the RISCOS community project and then go on the contribution guidelines. Here, we already have inserted a lot of information that you can use to learn more about how to contribute to open source project. And there is also a link that will lead you to an entire set of video tutorials on how to use GitHub and Git to work with open source project. All right. Let's get back to our local repository. So to compile the code, I just open the directory. Now, all the project on the RISCOS community have present this SRC directory, which stands for source. So I open it and then 
to build the code or compile it, it's absolutely super simple. We just need to double click on MKDDE if we want to use the uh, Briscoe's Open desktop development environment, or we can click on MKGCC if we want to use the GCC compiler collection to build our project. In this case, I'm going to use MKDDE. Just double click on it. And this will kickstart the entire build process. Now, these type of processes are created so that you don't have to do pretty much anything. So as you can see, it's building everything. And at the end of it, if everything goes OK, we will just get the binary. In this particular case, everything went OK and the library has been built. Next, we want to make a change to one of the source codes. So the first thing I usually do is I click on MKDD clean or uh, the same for GCC just to clean up from all the building, the previous building artifacts. OK, this has been done. So the project is clean again. Now I go on the source code. I open one of the source file with my favorite editor. In my case is um, StrongEd, but you can use any editor really. And just scroll the source code and just go here and type comment. And save it. And close it. All right, let's close all this. And now we want to check if Git has checked uh, and identified our, our change. So I go back on Netful, I type cd uh, libazini to enter the directory, and then I type git status. Now, Git has found that we have changed as any. And it appears in red because that means that we still have not added it to our local repository. Okay. So the first thing I normally do in this situation is I create a, a, my branch. To create a branch on Git, it's very simple. We type git checkout minus b and then the name of the branch. In this case, uh, test branch should be good enough. Press. Okay. Now it has created the branch and it also has switched it to that branch. Okay. Next, we're going to do git add of SLC, C, and SE. Okay, let's have a look at the status now. Git status. As we can see, now it appears to be in green. That means that it has been added. We want to commit this change. So, to commit a change, it's very simple. Git commit minus m that stays for message. This is a test. OK, now if we do the status again, it says nothing has changed. Why? Because we have also committed that change. So this is the new state of our sources. Now, if we don't want to use a remote uh, Git repository, that's it. We're done. Our local repository is up to date and we can continue to work on our thing. However, if we want to push the changes back to our remote uh, repository, which is on github.com, we can use the command git push. Push minus two, and then we need to type the name of our branch, which in our case is test. Now, this one all is smooth and clean, and it did not ask me for a user and a password. And that is because I have um, pre-created my SSL certificates. Now, this is a different argument, I think, for a different video. However, by using it on Linux, I can use the certificate, which makes things much, much easier. This concludes our quick demo on using Git uh, via Linux, Nettle, and Omni Client on RISCOS. Thank you very much for watching.